What's up YouTube? So here today we have an Xbox 360 prototype XEDK. Um, it's referred to as the 007 console. I, I don't know exactly what the reference there is. Maybe that was the serial number uh, or the model number. I'm not really sure. I've heard it referred to a few times by different people on different blogs. So this is an Xbox dev kit, um, but it's a little more than that. It's a prototype. So this was uh, not only a dev kit, but this was the precursor to how Xbox 360 came about. So at the time, they didn't really have a name picked out. Um, they were referring to it as maybe uh, Next Box, uh, Xenon, or uh, Xbox 2. And so for that reason, um, there's different things, different characteristics on this console that are a lot different, which I'll point out further in the video. So just so everyone doesn't panic, these consoles never had warranty seals, so I'm not being completely sacrilegious in opening it. Trust me, if it had a warranty seal, I would never have opened it. So the console came to me from China, um, which it's referred to as an XDK China kit. Basically, these kits were um, were created, they were prototyped, they were devved on, or they were stress test consoles, what have you, and then they went overseas for recycling, where some people basically dug them out of recycling and tried to scavenge them. So this is one of those, and it came to me pretty busted up. Um, it was in fair to poor condition on the external, the internals, we'll go into that in a little bit. So just to start out with, this is the shell, or part of the shell here, oh, let me turn it the right way here. So, as you can see, it's just a plain black shell, and on the side of it here is a little prototype decal, and on the back, as you can see, this is a non-HDMI, just like they always were, and some black electrical tape holding the case together, which... Again, I'll go into detail later on. But the number one thing you'll notice right away is the word Xbox doesn't appear anywhere on the side of the console at all. And that's because the name hadn't been completely nailed out yet. Um, the back of the console here, which the bottom shell, bottom half of the shell is still on, does use the term Xbox 360. Oh, let me turn it upside down here. Hold on one second. It uses the term Xbox 360 XEDK. And they took a belt sander or uh, a circular grinder to it, and that's what the result was. They basically took off all the manufacturing information and, and whatnot. Um, this was supposed to be, was said to have been made in 2004, um, early 2005. Again, this, I have no idea what the case is because it's been grinded off. And once again, here is another label that kind of, gives a little bit of information here that it's beta development consoles and their prototype hardware. Um, and then it also refers to it as, let me see, where is it at? Right here. Microsoft Xenon Development Kit. So that's where you have the X-E-D-K from. And that's because initially they had considered calling the console the Xenon. So we'll turn this back around and it's got black a black eject button and the bezel is also black but it doesn't say Xbox 360 anywhere on it. It's just smooth. So we'll lift the lid off here and it's just the run of the mill you know black shell and another thing you'll notice is that this is also black. Black molded plastic. I don't know why they changed it to white but this is the only model that I've ever seen come with a black uh, ring of light cover. Even the the Elites don't even come with this. The Elite still comes with a white. Same thing with the Halo 3 console or any other specialty consoles of the old school, fat, if you will, style Xbox 360 consoles. They're always white. Same thing with the fan port, or fan duct, rather. It's also is black on this console. So, and I'll just lift this up out of here. Kind of difficult one-handed, but we'll we'll make do. Okay, or maybe not. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I'm too lazy to edit the video. So, uh, as you can see inside, it looks pretty much the same as a 360. However, there is some pretty significant differences uh, after you uh, initially get the first glance. So I'm just going to unplug the disk drive here so that way you guys can get a full look at it and 
if anybody's interested, this is the disk drive information here. 2005. So this probably was obviously manufactured in 2005. So the cables are just standard AV cables that I had to install in it because at one point it had the dev kit sidecar, which you can see the hole for. It's a little bit bigger. And basically cables run through here, or you can see my finger running through. And they plug into several different ports, one being this extra port here and the other one being here. And the sidecar also, well, on later dev kits, there's also a little plug that's back in here, but I don't see it on this one, so I'm not sure if it had that plug. Um, basically, the sidecar had these cables going through this hole, well, longer versions of them, into the sidecar, and then other cables coming back through. So basically, what came from the motherboard went through the sidecar and then through the disk drive, or in reverse, actually. So what you had in the disk drive would spin go through the the sidecar and then the information would be put back into the into the into the motherboard. So essentially in, in other words is it was kind of a middleman. And the reason for it is because then it would you could save things on the sidecar and do all kinds of other things. More stuff that has to do with debugging. Anyway, so as you can see it has the HANA chip, which is the chip that's notorious for causing the um, E73 error, or E74 error, rather, in the, the new consoles. Um, if you look, it's got the Xbox original logo, which is kind of interesting, and same thing with the Southbridge. Again, because they, it's Microsoft, and it was going to be their next generation console, but they didn't know what they are going to call it. So, it doesn't say 360 anywhere. Some other information here. Um, this is a replacement part. However, I kept the outside of it because it has this little decal that has something to do with... Um, I don't know what it has to do with, but it obviously is, it's got some check marks in there. Maybe it was a stress test or something. And another thing you'll notice right here is that the Ethernet port is completely gone. And the thing is, is that the console was purposely destroyed. The eject button was broken off. That took me a long time to track down as a black eject button that kind of matched. So, unfortunately, the eject button is not original. Um, they purposely destroyed the, the networking port, and this was purposely destroyed too. However, it was intact. I had to desolder it and put a new one in. But basically, it looked like they had, and you can see kind of a dent mark there, it looked like they took a some kind of a, a punch or a, a chisel of some sort and basically pounded a hammer into it to where no one could get a hold of it and do anything with it. Another thing too that's kind of interesting is that this is called, this is referred to as the Titan board. I don't know what the hell it does. It has a bunch of LEDs and it has a little dip switch system here. Um, I don't know what the dip switches do. I've put them all up, and that causes all the LEDs to light up, and the console turns on. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. Another thing too is that anybody that's into the old school Xbox console or debug or even into the um, modding scene, people will remember these. This pin set looks like what you would put on the old debug pinout um, to connect a, an executor chip or whatnot to the original Xbox console. So kind of an interesting thing there. I, I don't know if it has any correlation with debugging. I'm, I'm sure it has something to do with debugging, but I don't know if it has necessarily the same um, correlation with the old school console. There's an extra port here where the Titan board plugs in, and as you can see, it's just a run-of-the-mill port here. I mean, it's a little smaller than the standard ones on the retail consoles, but it just plugs back in. Other plug-in is right here. Um, and then you'll see all these little headers that are around the console here. There's another one hiding, hiding right back there. There it is. So that's pretty much it. Another thing that's kind of interesting here is that Microsoft, for whatever reason, continuously uses, in the 360s anyway, uh, when they were in their beta testing, is gases, like noble gases. That was kind of their code names for everything. So the RF module here, I don't know if you can see it or not because my phone is good but not that great. It says Argon. So the RF module, the code name for it was Argon. Now, why that's significant is because they referred to the Xbox 360 as Xenon, and they had two controllers that were prototype, which also I have one right here. And this is the prototype controller that says Krypton. The other one is called Radon. But it looks basically like a regular run-of-the-mill Xbox 360 controller, except for one pretty big difference is each little thing is labeled. DP being directional pad, RS, right stick, left stick, and then you'll notice right here, it's a little dusty, that there's no Xbox 360 logo. I don't know why that is. Maybe they just hadn't created one yet. 
but there it is. So, it's missing the little holographic logo. Um, it says Krypton, has some other information there. And right here, well, I don't know if you can see it because I'm kind of moving the camera all crazy ass. Right here was said to have been a prototype decal. I've seen others on there. Mine, for whatever reason, I don't know. It doesn't have one. I'm not concerned. The, the controller will only work with an Xbox 360 development kit, so it will not work on a retail console. So, uh, without further ado, I suppose we could probably turn it on here, just so you guys get an idea of how cool the LEDs look on it, because there's a lot of LEDs on the motherboard here that you just don't notice until I turn it on. Another thing that's kind of cool, too, is that the PSU here that I have, it's also a prototype. So, and this, I hadn't, I've never found any information on. This is a 203-watt, uh, uh, right here, 203 watts. This is a standard, it looks like a standard PSU that would come with the Xenon consoles, however, it wouldn't have gone with this console when it had a sidecar, because those of you who don't know, the PSUs for an Xbox dev kit are 213 watts because of the sidecar, it takes another 10 watts for whatever reason. Um, and so, uh, this only works with this because it doesn't have the sidecar, but this I picked up uh, from a different seller off eBay, and I thought it was a really cool item. It's basically, it's all black. It's not gray. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not on the video, but it's not gray. And the power supply, the cord here, is just a little bit different. Um, on the older Xenon ones, it had the three pins here. But there's also like a little groove cut out the top, and this one doesn't have it. Um, the holes here on the back are just in slightly different pattern than the, the retail one was too, the final the final run, I guess, if you will, of the 203 watt that would have come with the um, would have come with the, the xenon, and then here's the end here. The buttons are gray for whatever reason. That's gray molded plastic, and they push in, and it's just a just a regular PSU, I suppose. It's just kind of cool. It says prototype on it, so we'll plug her on in. So immediately when we plug it in, it has a blinking LED here. Uh, if you can see, it says something next to it. Let's see, it says DBG LED3. Don't know what that means. Somebody might there out there on YouTube. And a really cool blue LED, which it looks cool because when the whole case is on it, you can actually see the blue LED project out the top. So we'll turn it on, and then I'll show you. The ring of light moves ridiculously fast when it turns on. And it's going to flash for a little bit because it doesn't have the, si or it doesn't have the DVD drive plugged in. So, as you can see, it's going wicked fast, and the, the green is actually slightly different than the center. So, the outside colors, I don't know if you can tell or not, the outside colors actually look a lot more like the, the green that is in the retail consoles now. But the center green is a lot brighter. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell on that. But, when we turned it on now, another LED up here has turned on, and the blue LED... Back. Let me sit at. Oh, got myself with the fan there. Uh, the blue LED, wherever it was at, it's turned off. But now there's an LED that's here that's lit up. And then on the Titan board, I can get my phone down in there. There's an orange LED right there. And then there's a red one there. And then there's a series of four blue here. And I don't know what they do. No idea. Uh, again, they obviously have some significance, and if you can hear it, the fan runs at a full at full speed. It's 100% speed. That's not a mod. That's just how they were, I guess. I I don't know. Um, as you can see, the ring of light is still going nuts. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, this is the bottom plate. I don't know. Most of the tabs are broken off, unfortunately. But you know, it was pretty pretty destroyed when I first got it. Um, like I said, the Ethernet port is missing, however, which is interesting, the console still works with it. Um, which, on my next video, I'll show you the console booting up and show you the, the beta dashboard and whatnot. It's, it's kind of interesting, I suppose, to those that have never seen it before. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please, you know, email me or, you know, leave a comment. Um, I'm kind of a lazy person, so I don't know if I'm going to check it very often. I, I work a crazy schedule, so... Um, please, if you have any questions, um, or anything like that, please leave comments, you know, whatever, and, uh, enjoy. So, again, this is the Xbox 360 dev kit called the XEDK, 
or 007 as some people refer to as, and that's it. Have a good day.